What is up, everybody? Welcome to a brand new episode of Manager Career Mode as I try to manage Valencia to the top of Spanish football and even Europe. So in this episode, we have four games. I'm going to try to play two. I have to simulate two just to kind of get this going. But anyways, we have a lot to do. So please don't forget to hit that like. Don't forget to subscribe. But more importantly, sit back and relax. Let's do this. <laughs> All right, so first up, we play Villarreal. Villarreal is actually, I don't want to say it's a derby, but from what I've heard and what I've seen, they get really, they've had some really good battles in the past. So, you know what? I'm going to treat it as a derby. So, big game. Big game. We have to go out there and we have to try and uh, get the result as, uh, you know, once we get, once this gets going, I feel that. We have to um, really step it up. We have to prove our worth. Last episode wasn't the best uh, performances. We were we were able to get the players that we wanted to, but overall it just wasn't the performances that I was expecting. So this is an opportunity to go out on the road and get the job done. Ah. Ooh, what a save! Let's go, come on. Tsunami de oportunidades en el área. El bueno, el balón atrás. Too easy, too easy. There it is. Oh my god. There it is. Oh, let's go. Nabil Fakir with his first goal for Valencia. Nice. Great counter, man. Oh my god, that was so cool. That was such a good counter. Great, great counter. Oh, I just cracked my neck. That's so excited, I cracked my neck. <laughs> Look at this, left-footed. Wow, great placement, great finesse. Brilliant finish. Here we go, let's go, come on. Right before halftime, too, that's awesome. Best time to get a goal right there. There we go. Good half, man. Honestly, really, really good half. Um, I mean, Villarreal started started off great. They were creating chances and just being the better team. Honestly, we, we had to uh, make some saves and really hold them. Um, and I'm glad we did because after that, we were able to kind of expose the defense a little bit. We were able to create some chances and, uh, like I said, catch them on the counter. Uh, Nebel Fikir with his first goal for Valencia. That is amazing. Uh, good to see. I do expect a lot from him. Oh, he's gone. Oh, my God. What a strike. Oh, did he save that? Did he save that? He did. Wow. That was, uh, that was a really good save. We got to hold him. I got to clear that. Great finish. Let's go. That was amazing. Good, good movement. Great play. Nabil Fakir just holding the ball enough for Chuki just to make that run down the center and just feeds it. Quick, quick finish to the goalkeeper's right. Nothing he can do. That's two up to us. I think that's game. That should be uh, the game right there. We just got to hold it and see the game out. But look at this. Holds it and just feeds it. You know, just a quick swat. Brilliant, man. Awesome. Uh, awesome. <coughs> here we go. We try to gotta try to hold him here. We gotta try to hold him here. That's Neto. There we go. Good punch. No mistakes. No mistakes. There we go. Ah, oh, left them wide open. That was my bad. I was trying to set up the defensive settings, but you know what? I'm going to hold it for a second. That should be game. Oh, no. There we go. Wow. That was a really, really good game away at Villarreal. I thought we handled that great. Like I said, in the first half, Villarreal were just all over us, creating chances. Neto had to make some really good saves. After that goal, 
Um, after we got that goal right before halftime, it seems like they just died out. Couldn't really, uh, you know, generate anything or get anything. We were able to get a really good goal in the second half, assisted or I guess created by Neville Fakir and finished by this man. And I think overall it was a really good performance, one that we needed. Um, after that just uh, disappointing start uh, to the season. So I think that this uh, actually just gives us a boost um, going forward and hopefully uh, we can continue that and just uh, feed off of this performance. <clears throat> can we get the win away at Real Sociedad? I have actually made a lot of modifications thinking of the Champions League again, thinking that I need, needed to give some players a rest. Uh, oh, in Condovia got a red card, no. Shoot. Here we go. Can we get an equalizer? Probably. Probably not. Oh, there we do. Gamedo scores. Oh, and they get the winner at the end. Oh, that is so disappointing. But you know what? Uh, I mean, I guess that's what I get for, for going with the weaker squad. But I have to think about the Champions League. I got to go with my stronger team. So one of the things that I really want to try to focus in this series is... I want to try to develop players, I want to try to get players into my academy, develop top notch players. So like I said at the beginning of uh, this series, one of the reasons why I guess I was attracted to Valencia is because, at least from my understanding, uh, years ago I guess they developed some of the best players that, that are still around now, uh, some that come to mind is uh, David Villa, uh, David Silvia, um, who else, uh, Juan Mata. Uh, there's so many other players that came out. They've actually have a really good academy. Um, Rafa Benitez, before he went to Liverpool, actually was at Valencia, and he's that's where he really kind of got his game going. So, a lot of good uh, coaches and players have come out of there, and I think that I want to try to, I guess, uh, continue that and try to replicate that. So, if I can go out, send, get some really good players, send some scouts out, see if they can bring in some really good players, really good talent, develop them, put them out. And, you know, if, if I can't promote them to my team, maybe actually sell them, make some money. But I think overall it's just bringing in players, young academy players, and eventually um, promoting them to the, <clears throat> to the first team. So I really, really want to actually invest in some really top-notch scouts. So I think right now Juan Torres is uh, probably Juan Torres. Actually, you know what? No, this guy. This guy seems like a legit scout right here and like I said I really do want to invest so I have to go and uh, spend big um, I think for right now I'm probably only going to go with two scouts and uh, Alexander Houston's and yeah so we're going to go with these two guys I think I want to try I want to stay local so I think I'm going to try to send one of them to Spain to see what I can find and I'll probably go for six months and let's see what he can find me I also want to try and maybe I've been thinking about either let me see here either France or Germany let me see where is that? France or Germany but I think France is probably I've been curious I'm gonna try three months and then three months in Germany but um, you know, I think, you know, France winning the World Cup and just, you know, producing some really, really good players. I think this would be a really good place to start. So we're going to do three months there and let's see what he can find. Big game, big game at Old Trafford. And uh, what sucks is that Nabil Fakir is not ready. He was not ready. So I am playing without my star midfielder. Uh, which sucks, but you know what? I do feel like we have enough talent on the bench to replace the, uh, replace him at, at least for this game and be able to get a positive positive result. We did we did draw against Juventus at home, so right now the way it's set up, this is a must win. If we drop points, it's just gonna it's just gonna make it that much harder to kind of get going. So it's very very important that we try to get something out of this, especially because Juventus have young boys, and again that is a huge huge you know uh, this is a huge game for us you know obviously they're probably going to end up winning that game so we need to get something out of this a draw would be you know would be great a win would be amazing so it sucks and and if you if just like you just saw right now Chao Dominic is in goal I'm giving them his last chance I know he he fucked up I know he screwed up big time in that last game but I'm gonna I'm gonna give him one more chance to make it up I still believe in this guy I still believe he can do it hopefully he doesn't let me down Marito, yo veo el trazo contra el 
Here we go, let's go. Oh my god! Well, that was fast. That was a rifle and a half. Jesus. You know what? And I knew <clears throat> I knew that wasn't that wasn't gonna go well as soon as he got the ball outside the box. Oh my god. I knew it was gonna be hard, but not this hard. And that was just extremely easy. As soon as he got that rebound right there, he was just gonna rifle that no chance. I just so much power on it. He just released that and there's just no chance that Chalmer was gonna get that. Here we go. It's gonna be a battle now. There it is. Oh, let's go! Woo! Great finish. Oh my god, what a build-up. Just what we needed. That is uh that was really good. That brings us back into the game definitely. A really, really good counter. And just the build up inside the box, because once we get to the box, we have to slow it down a little bit, because they just they really like stop us in the tracks. But like I said, just good play, good release. Look at that little that little cheek from uh, Condobia, and then just a first strike. No chance for the hair. Yeah. Let's go, come on, because that you know what? Honestly, as soon as as soon as we can see, as soon as they got that goal, like two minutes into the game, I'm like, oh my god, this is not gonna go well. <laughs> Oh, gr no. No, come on, man. Really? Are you kidding me, dude? Ah. He literally sets it up perfectly perfectly for him and just, could, just couldn't clear it. Look at that. And just... Oh, that is such crap. Really such crap. Oh, that's terrible, man. Honestly, that sucks so bad. Ah, oh, that was so forced. Oh my god, I'm just so, just so bummed out. I really am. That goal really just got us. And you know what? They, they did not deserve that. I thought that uh, we were starting to kind of build some momentum after we got the goal. And uh, it's just so unlucky that Manolas could not clear that. To, but to be honest, though, like I was saying, after we got the goal, I, I, I was actually literally shitting myself because after, I mean, conceding in, in two minutes, I mean, that is not a good sign. But, you know, we were able to hold them, um, stop them, and start going on, on the attack. We were able to get a goal, but just so unlucky, man. That really is. But, you know, we still have a whole half to play. Oh my god, that is so... Oh, oh I, I hate that. I really do, that sucks so bad. You know what, and that happens when I send Bailly out and he just, he literally has nobody on him. And he has Samudo, which is probably maybe what? 5'9, 5'10. Against like a 6'2, there's no chance. Oh, wow. Offside, because I, I think it hit one of our players. He's gone. Oh, he caught up to me. Damn it. Woo! Was that Guedes? That was, oh my god, that was, that was unbelievable. Great, great strike, man. I did not actually, I, I, I just couldn't believe that went in. Actually, had no, no, uh, no chance. That had no chance. Can't even speak right now. That is an amazing strike, man. Honestly, he just, on the volley, the, oh, actually, the ball does drop. But look at the swerve on that. Wow, now that brings us back into the game, man. Can we get something out of this? Can we equalize? You know what? I do feel like we need some changes. <clears throat> I right, need to make some subs here because honestly, Condovia and Dani Parejo are just too slow. They just weren't they weren't as strong as I thought they were going to be. I just, I just thought they were going to be able to out-muscle 
uh, Manchester United's midfield and that just did not happen so I'm actually going with a little bit smaller build in the midfield hopefully that speed here we go <sighs> good ball there it is oh my god there it is oh what a save the hair Oh my god, what a save. Look at that. Spreads himself out nice and big. And literally with his hand, trailing hand, it gets, uh, gets, uh, gets something on it, gets his palm on it, and deflects it. Shit. Uh. That might be it if I, I, I got to get something on this. Yeah, oh, that is uh, that's very disappointing, man. Because we had him, and honestly, that that their that goal, ah, oh, it sucks. That second goal, that honestly, it probably burns the most because it just was a terrible deflection, could not clear it, and just overall was not a good performance, man. It was not a good performance, and you know what? It, it just uh, we we kind of we kind of dropped the ball here, and uh, this is not a good sign. Definitely not what I wanted in our first two games. Uh, just did not expect that. So uh, hopefully we can bounce back in the next episode. I did feel that we played decent in the league. But like I said, um, this is a priority, obviously. I just don't want to come in and do well. I want to try to get out of the group. And right now we only have one point out of a potential six. So uh, just very, very disappointing. So hopefully we can do a lot better. We still have a lot to play. Uh, a lot more to come so then this the next episode we have I think two big games against Barcelona and then we have a game in the Champions League so a lot to look forward to so I do invite you to come back please don't forget to subscribe and if you enjoy it please don't forget to hit to hit that like button so until next time boys I hope you have a good one later